Welcome to No Silly Questions, where I, Jillian Bruce, attempt to answer any question you have about Salesforce, no matter how silly you think it is. And if I can't answer it, well then I'll tap into our incredible Trail Wizard community to find an expert to get you an answer. Today, we've got a question from Laura. Laura, what's your question? Hi. I'm Laura from Los Angeles, and I'm wondering if there's a way to use Salesforce for personal use. I'd really like to see some examples of that. Great question, Laura. I mean, I think we all want to know how we can use Salesforce for our own personal lives. And you know, I've got the perfect person to help us answer this question. The one, the only, one of my favorite people in the world, admin evangelist Mike Gerhold. Mike, can you help answer Laura's question? That's a great question, Laura. In addition to learning about Salesforce, I'm also a huge car nerd. So I created an app to help me manage the show Top Gear that I'm binge watching. In fact, let me give you a demo. Okay, so I'm gonna start logged into the homepage of my dev org that you can see I've customized for my own personal use because I wanted to track the episodes and show that I watch of Top Gear. So I've customized the home page. Here you can see I've got the Top Gear branding. Of course, I changed my profile picture to the Stig, and I've included a YouTube video right at the beginning. So if that's the want to watch the intro to the show again, I can do that right from the home page, which I think is super fun. Um, I created some custom objects. So my first custom object was a season because uh, I wanted to make sure that I was tracking all of the seasons. And master detail to that was episodes. So the reason it's master detail is an episode can only be part of one specific season. The other object that I created was a guest, which is a lookup to an episode. That way I can start tracking all of the guests and which episode they appear. And then because I'm a car nerd, I also created a lookup object for cars so that I can track what cars they cover um, what guests drive those cars. So let me just dive in here real quick to an episode. I'm going to go to uh, episode three of season four. You can see that I gave it four out of five stars. It originally aired on May 23rd, 2004. Just a simple checkbox to let me know that I watched it. Um, and if we, if I add more in the related area here, we can see the guests that were on um, and the cars that they reviewed. I'll be honest, as I started building this app, let me just go into a season here. I actually got more interested in building the app than uh, binge watching some of Top Gear. But we've got, so this is the season. And if I click into a guest, we'll go down to Simon Cowell. I could fill in what episode he was on, the lap time, and the reasonably priced car that he drove, which of course links me over to the car. It was a reasonably priced car that way I could keep track of it. Had some fun. Um, also customized the home page, but that was the Top Gear app that I wanted to show you. So that's my app. But I've talked to a lot of community members and some have created all kinds of apps, like Brian Kwong, who creates an app to manage diaper changes and some apps to manage wedding planning. I even had a guest on the podcast, Nick Lindbergh, who created an app to manage his race car. So really, all kinds of personal apps. But the question I have for you is, what will you create? Back to you, Jillian. Well, thank you, Mike, so much for giving us that answer. Laura, I hope that helps satisfy your question. I mean, there really are infinite possibilities for what you can do with Salesforce. So share with us what you build. And if you've got a question that you think might be a little silly about Salesforce, Send them my way. You can find me on Twitter, on the Trailblazer community. I want to know, what do you want to know about Salesforce? With that, I hope you have a great day and we'll catch you next time in the cloud.